Yo, what is cracking? Because it is your boy Cypher Black here, bringing you guys a brand new series to the channel called Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for the Fame Battle Spot Series VGC style. I know it's kind of long, so we're just gonna call it for the Fame VGC style. So if you guys are excited for this new series, make sure you guys smash the like button down below. I it'll really help support me along this way, and um, I'll give you a little background story of why I wanted to start this channel or this um not the channel. But more of I wanted to start this series. So, I, if you guys are not familiar with Alex Agloza, make sure you guys go check him out. He's an amazing, amazing uh, YouTuber and you know PokeTuber as well. Uh, he just provides very good content. And but not only does he provide very good content, <clears throat> he does VGC. And watching him play inspired me very, very, very much to try VGC. So I was like, hey, let's. You know, let's let's try some VGC, and obviously you guys can see my team on the on you know on on the left side because I'm not I'm not using a fucking talent flame. I'm not using a fucking talent flame to go in against you know four other mods. There's no other way. I don't even think they I don't even think they let you through. So, um, but yeah, guys, I just I've been really watching him and I've really wanted to test out VGC. So I'm only gonna be bringing a match each episode, but it's gonna be kind of more along the way of us learning together the you know the ends and the ropes of VGC. So. Um, th enough of that being said, I'm actually going to get into my team a little bit, um, and, but what I need from you guys, um, there's going to be no question of the day for this. In fact, there's going to be more of a thing called trainer tips. And what trainer tips are going to do, or what trainer tips are going to do, is they're going to come in the comments section below of your guys' tips helping me out in this VGC journey. So, um, for example, uh, you guys can leave sets for Pokemon and I will make them for VGC. Um, so say if you think, hey, I, I think you should use this, this, this Pokemon, or this, this, this team. I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and try using it. Or if you're like, hey, um, you know, trainer tip, this is this, 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 you know, I really, I really, you know, it's not myself doing this. I really want your guys' help on this series. So, um, I'll get rid of the team preview and then we'll go look for a match and then we'll, you know, we'll get started in this, in our first episode of VGC style. So, <clears throat> obviously here, um, for the team today, I'm bringing, uh, hold on, let me, let me think, focus. Uh, today I am bringing the Choice Spec Sylveon. I am bringing the Mega Salamence. I am bringing the Focus Sash by Sharp. I am bringing the uh, the left, either the left or Black Sludge, Amoongus. Um, I'm bringing the Nido King, and I, believe it or not, Nido King puts in work. Like, I've seen VJC with um, with Nido Queen, but Nido King puts in work too. Just don't don't overlook Nido King if you're looking at Nido Queen. Don't overlook him. Don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. And last but not least, we have Hydreigon. So, obviously, that's the squad that we're bringing to the VGC, or at least our first VGC episode. So, again, let's see if we can just get this episode to 15 likes, and um, let's just jump right into it. So, obviously, here, um, you guys can see on your screen, I have two losses. Um, I was just testing this team. Um, it will, I kind of pre-recorded this, and it kind of didn't go as well because this, the resolution of my screen was not, it wasn't too good. Um, but, obviously, like if you see here, I literally have, you know, paper and pencil. Because I'm not taking pictures, I'm just writing everything down. Because I've noticed in VGC, every, writing everything down is a good, you know, is a good key. So uh, we found a 1557 rated player, Mark from Germany. So obviously he's bringing a Venusaur, a Charizard. So it could possibly be a, um, it could be like the uh, chlorophyll, you know, sunset, uh, Metagross. Hit him on top for the Intimidate, Glyce score, and Hydreigon. All right, so I really need Hidden Power Ice on my Hydreigon. Please tell me I have Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice. Right, you know, I, I do have Hidden Power Ice. So I do have Hidden Power Ice on Hydreigon. Um, and, I, and I'm really thinking about bringing him first. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm actually gonna go Hydre or Hydreigon first, just because Hydreigon can hit, actually hit a lot of things hard on this team. Um, with hi hit him power ice for uh, Hydreigon, Venusaur, uh, Gliscor, and then next I, I really feel a Charizard Y and Venusaur lead. So maybe if I went with Salamence and Hydreigon, I could do some damage. Uh, hmm. Amoongus wouldn't be bad in this position. Um, just because I could spore something besides the Venusaur. 
Um, I'm going to go Salamence next. I'm going to bring Hydreigon and Salamence, and hopefully he doesn't have double ice, which he doesn't. Um, Sylveon would be nice in the back to have. And, no, you know what? We're going to go with Bisharp. Nido King or Salamence, oh wait, I'm sorry. Hydreigon and Salamence first, and then Sylveon and Nido King in the back. The only reason I'm bringing them is because Hidden Power Fight or Hidden Power Fire on a Metagross could be pretty, you know, detrimental. Now that could be a choice banded Metagross. Um, let's see. So I brought Salamence, Salamence, Hydreigon, Sylveon. Oh, we brought it first. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's not totally bad. It's not totally bad. It's like, so Sylveon and... Who, who was the last mine I brought? Shit. Nido King. That's right. Alright, so... Sorry, I had to write some stuff down. Uh, so he has Hitman on top, and he has... Metagross. Now... I could dark pulse the. I could dark. Wow, what, why is my camera not focusing? I could dark pulse the Metagross and do some good damage, which I think I'm gonna do that just because I, it is stab, and Metagross' special defense isn't all that. And then next, I think I'm gonna go for. I. I I'm gonna go for return on the. I, I know he's gonna fake out. This. Because him on top's a very good fake out, a fake out intimidator. That's 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 my biggest thing. So uh, obviously, if he goes for ice punch, we're gonna be in a pretty bad position. Um, oh, he is Mega Metagross. That sucks. That could be bad. I, I, well, we, we are gonna outspeed because we are choice scar, so it's not like the total end of the world. Um, oh, but he's gonna protect. Oh, but we are gonna outspeed. And that is going to one-shot. Yes. That is going to one-shot the Hitmon Top. So Hitmon Top is out of here. And let's check so far who he's brought. So he's we take out the Hitmon Top. He's going to go into his Hydreigon. Ooh. So we could Dark Pulse. We could Dark Pulse the... Um, uh, let's see. We could Dark Pulse the, um, the Metagross. It's going to be a speed tie. That's the bad thing. I, I can tell that thing's Choice Scarf already. But I think he's going to Dragon Tail. Um, I'm going to Dark Pulse the... I'm going to Dark Pulse the Metagross just because... No, no, no. no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually switch into Nido King here. And then here, I'm actually going to Dragon Claw the uh, Hydreigon, just because I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna. I think he's gonna Draco Meteor my uh, Hydreigon because he knows I can Dark Pulse. Yeah, see, I, I I called that because I know with this Choice Scarf, I know it. So hopefully we can get a Dragon Claw on this thing. Oh, we live at nine. We live at nine. And plus, this thing is. Oh, we yeah, we have speed. Fortunately, we're not going to take this thing out. Ice Punch. Bomb. Well, the good thing is, is that we, that we do get the, um, we do get the drop onto, um, so I, hmm. I'm in a position now. I could definitely protect with Nido King here. Um, hmm. But unfortunately, if if he if he outspeeds us, then we're in a position. I'm actually gonna earthquake here, and then I'm actually going to I'm gonna dark pulse the Metagross. So, let's see. 
Only reason I'm doing that is because if I Dark Pulse, if I, if I get as much health on the Metagross as I can, that's fine. Because my Hydreigon has to levitate so I can Earthquake it. And I can easily take out the uh, the, Hydra or the Hydreigon with my Choice Specs Sylveon. So that's why I'm not really worried about it. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. So let's see. So Salamence is out of here for us. Flinch, 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 flinch. He's going to Draco us. That's fine. Hmm. If you went for the Ice Punch, that'd be perfect. At least, or Ice Punch onto, um... We are speed! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Oh my gosh. That is a huge threat out of the way. Oh my gosh, that was huge. Alright, so, so let's see. So his Metagross is out of here. His Metagross is out. So now, we can send in Sylveon. Sylveon is looking decent. Um, it depends who his last mon is. Glurak. Yo, that is per- That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That is so fine. Because I can just Hyper Voice here. Go for the Dark Pulse. Onto Charizard and hopefully flinch. That's oh my gosh. That oh that was so perfect. Yo, 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 yo. I could I, cause I was expecting a bullet punch from his uh from his Metagross onto I was expecting a bullet punch onto his um I was expecting a bullet punch from his uh from his Metagross onto my Needle King. That's why I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in a position, I'm in a position. But him not going for the um him not going for the uh oh heat wave. Which isn't going to do jack squat, and that's fine. And we should have this match here. Right, let's move on a little bit. Damn. Well, I mean, either way, that's fine. But yeah, I was expecting the bull punch on the Needle King, which is going to put me in position. Because I, I know Metagross would have been able to take out my uh, my Sylveon with the you know, Steel-type move. Because my Sylveon does not have any speed investment whatsoever. So, uh, obviously, we can just go for a Hyper Voice here, and we should be fine. Unless he gets a crit. Ooh. Oh, oh my fucking god. Overheat? I did not expect that. Yo, I did not expect that. Did not expect that whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Oh. That sucks. That sucks. Well, oh well, either way, we're going to take that first loss, but hey, yeah, yeah, I'd rather get 1-0 than 4-0 in my first VGC match, really, at all, really. So, um, again, if you guys have any suggestions on sets, teams, anything, any trainer tips for me for VGC, make sure you guys leave in the comment section below if you have anything. Um, at the end of the video, I try to talk about what I want to improve on, so pretty much what I kind of want to improve on is kind of maybe um, playing a little better with Protect, you know what I'm saying? I think Protect and Protect play would be a little better on my part, so... Uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys uh, leave a like down below. Any trainer tips, leave them in the comment section below as well. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I am Cypher Blocka, and this is my first VGC episode. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. So make sure you have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, or blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching What is Cracking Cuz. See you. And remember, don't sleep. I'm Nito King. That's all I'm saying.